everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using the July stamp of the month called For My Beautiful Friend. This is the stamp and you can get it for $5 with any $50 purchase during the month of July. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the mix-in papers and a piece of raspberry cardstock. So I'm going to trim down this piece of patterned mix-in paper to be just a little bit larger than the uh, girl holding the flowers image is. So that's at three by four and a quarter. Okay, so I flipped my Versamat over to the soft side so I have a nice cushion for stamping and I'm gonna ink this image up in black and stamp it on the mix-in paper. This one, when you're stamping a larger image, if you work your fingers around the stamp to make sure that it makes contact everywhere with your paper, it helps give a clean impression. So now I've got a piece of white daisy and I'm going to stamp my sentiment just for you. And then I will cut that um, into a banner off screen. And then I've, I'm also going to stamp some butterflies in black ink as well, some little ones. Okay, so let's start uh, cutting the components to our card front. I'm gonna cut this raspberry cardstock just a smidge larger than the uh, mix-in, the stamped image mix-in paper so that there's an like a sixteenth of an inch border around it just so that it pops a little bit more. And then I have this other piece of mix-in paper and I'm going to cut it so that I can leave a white border on my card front. So I'm cutting it, it at four by five and a quarter. So there's that white border. Okay, so I'm bringing in some pale pink shimmer trim and I'm going to lay that at the base and then my sentiment will go on top of it. So off screen, I have colored my image in with the tri-blend markers. So let's start building the card. And then off to the left, you'll see um, I've fussy cut, I stamped and fussy cut some of those smaller butterflies. Okay, so I'm going to Go ahead and tack down that piece of sapphire mix-in pattern paper to my card front. Get that centered so there's an even border all the way around. And then I'll attach my art piece to the raspberry piece of cardstock so there's a, another border. And then I'll pop this piece with a piece of craft foam. So I'm going to push that whole panel towards the upper part of the card so that I have room to um, put the shimmer trim at the bottom. So I just trim it with my uh, trimmer at uh, four inches. Okay, so this is my craft foam and I'm adhering it with the Tombow white glue. It seems to work really well with the craft foam. And then you have a little time to kind of maneuver that piece around to make sure that it's straight and where you want it before it sets up and adheres. So the shimmer trim, if you haven't worked with it before, it is self-adhesive. It has a clear backing to it, and sometimes it's a little tricky to get that backing off, so you just have to have a little patience, and it does come off, and then you can just attach it wherever you want to. So I've flagged out the ends of this Just For You piece, and I'm going to pop that with some of the thin foam tape. And then I'll put that at the base, right in the middle, on top of the shimmer trim. 
Okay, so these little butterflies, I've colored them with the Bluebird Shimmer Brush. So they're nice and sparkly. And that Bluebird Shimmer, just it pops really nicely. So I'm going to attach them. I fussy cut them out, and so I'm going to attach them with glue dots. And the other two I haven't colored in yet, and I'll do that on camera. So I'm going to put them where I want them, attach them with the glue dots, and then I'll paint them in with the shimmer brush. Our shimmer brushes come in I think 17 different colors and they're just they're awesome the colors are are bright and vivid and shimmery and the best way to use them is um, before you start using them shake them up really well so that shimmer is mixed up and um, starts to come out of the brush onto your project and then I'm going to finish up by using some clear sparkles and some bitty sparkles to give a little bling to my flower bouquet. So these little guys, you can slide them off the carrier sheet and kind of put them where they need to go. Okay, so this is my finished card. So once again, you can get this by uh, going to the Earl in the upper right corner, and it's $5 with any $50 purchase in my online store. I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.